Okay, so hello people of the internet. This is a temporary fix for the Sony red light blinking problem. So this TV that you're seeing here is the Sony Bravia KDL uh, 50W950C. It's a 50 inch uh, Android TV. And uh, in the recent days we've been having this issue where the TV boots up, we get the Android, uh, you know, the loading animation. And then what happens is, before the home screen loads up, we get six blinking uh, red lights in the indicators. So this is where the indicator is. If you can see the other side, there will be six lights, uh, red lights that will be blinking. So there is a pretty good fix to this. I mean, it's a temporary fix uh, that I'll be showing you today. Uh, we had referred many articles in the internet uh, and videos and help from other people. Uh, who guided us to do this so i'm just making a consolidated video of all of that so as you can see here <clears throat> once you you need to take out the first step is you need to take out the back board which you can see here this is the board that we've taken out and you have certain screws like here here you know wherever there is arrow marks you have certain screws and once you remove all of them the board uh, is visible and then here you have uh, basically two sections that you need to look at first is where you have the power board here so you can identify the power board by this cable where you connect your uh, adapter right so this is this entire thing is the power board and then from here basically the power goes all the way to the main board and these are the 14 wires uh, this is what uh, we need to focus on uh, to for this fix so what is happening is and here if you can see there's a flap this goes this is the connection to the backlight of the tv so what we're doing here is uh, we are going to uh, basically override the safety uh, system or basically the LED, the red light indicator which is basically a backlight error indicator right one of these cables corresponds to that so what we have done here is we have basically just cut off the cable so if you can see closely uh, so what I'll do is I'll also you know put links to the other videos other two videos that we had uh, actually referenced uh, all of these IC boards in those videos basically had a table which mentioned exactly what each of these cables are for like let's say one is for uh, power dimming, one is for backlight, uh, I mean the, the backlight error symbol, one is for something else. So like that we have the names here but unfortunately for our IC board there are no uh, you know tables or any description like that. So what we did is we saw those videos and what they had mentioned is from this power cable which is basically going to the main board so this is what gives the indication to the uh, main board saying there is some error because the power probably the power is not enough uh, you know in order to boot up the tv and it's saying you know give that uh, bl error uh, you know code so basically the six red lights that blinks so what you can do is you can basically like remove this uh, just a second you can just hold it and then basically prop it up like this slowly and then what you can see here is you can see 14 pins so if you count this right one two three four like that basically if you just count the wires so you have two rows of wires here as you can see right the top and then the bottom so we're just interested about the top row and you can, and you can have probably 14 14 uh, wires here so what you need to do is you need to pull out the fourth wire starting from the top so one two three and then the fourth wires you can see we have cut it because we are unable to pull it out. So in one of the videos that we referenced, what he has said is, you can just easily pry up this plastic, right? And then you can pull out the wire. But as you can see here, the plastic is like, it's like fully glued. And like, it's a, it's one unit. It, you cannot just break it easily like that, right? It's just a unit of plastic. So what we had done is, we had actually gone, uh, you know, just through luck, I would say. And we had uh, counted the wires from the top, as you can see here. So for the fourth wire is basically the, BLERR wire so the backlight uh, error indicator so once you cut that what you'll have to do is this is that wire so here as you can see this is base this basically comes like that all the way till here connected to this so we cut it and then what you'll have to do is you'll have to ground the wire in any of the screws so you'll have different screws on the board as in on the back panel not on the IC panels on the back panel like let's say here there's no screw here there's a screw right but it's but it's too far so what we can do is uh, from this one this is the closest screw so what we have done is we have just taken that just taken off the outer uh, insulation from the wire and so as I was saying uh, you can just take the wire and then 
ground it so basically you just uh, slow just lift up the screw and then put the wire under it and then just ground it right so what we have done here now is that the signal will not be going the error signal will not be going from the power board all the way to the main board and due to that uh, due to that signal only what is happening is the red light indicators are all coming right so this you can just put it up again just fix it like that nice and easy right yeah so once that done once that's done surprisingly the tv actually works so we have the speaker modules here we have the power board here uh, the power board consists of this pin this 14 plug pins which goes all the way to the main board the main board is where the uh, error gets recognized and then it sends to this error indicator thing so this entire thing's error indicator so what is happening is from here it's sending so if the signal itself does not come from there to here then you will not get an er any error indicator so the tv will not shut down the tv will work so basically this is what we have done and uh, thanks to uh, the two people who have also tried i think that uh, this issue has been there for a lot of people and they are still facing it and probably some would have given away their TVs you know because it's very uh, frustrating and it's very confusing as well because as you can see there are no uh, writings as to what is what you know in other IC boards that I've seen they have writing saying what each of these cable corresponds to right with the numbers but here we don't have any of that so this video I hope it helps people and then uh, I'll just show you the demo as well so I will just prop up the TV uh, fit, fit back the back cover and then I'll show you that the TV does work. So before we were getting the six red lights, but now the TV just works really good. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and please do share this video uh, with anybody who has a similar problem with Sony TVs because when we asked Sony Center, uh, what all they said was uh, the entire panel has to be changed, as in the entire back panel. So basically the, the backlight has to be changed, but there was no issue in the backlight in the first place. So basically they were not able to diagnose and they were not able to help us which is really bad because uh, we are buying their products out of, you know, a trust. Uh, but now all they said is, you know, they gave us a budget of about 35,000 rupees uh, here in India to change the entire panel. So uh, this is just a, a much better fix. Of course, the temporary fix because now uh, the cons of this would be that any error that the TV gives, let's say overheating or whatever it is that actually needs some sort of uh, over uh, some sort of indication will be overridden because we have entirely cut off that uh, red light basically that backlight error indicator right so any errors won't be shown now you will not be getting any errors so it's just a risk that you'll have to take and you know probably use the tv until it lives uh, however long that is so yeah this is about it pretty easy stuff uh, you can just go through the video again and i'll also attach links to the other people who have helped us out like figure out which wire to cut and all that and then this is basically for the tvs which don't have any indication and you know you're just trying you're just still frustrated you know same as us so yeah thanks again and uh, okay so this is the first boot up after uh, we've cut the wire the error wires so let us see if it works so we get the white light and then the TV immediately turns on. So before what was happening is we used to get six red lights after this home screen loads or even sometimes before. Uh, but now the issue is solved. There is no six red lights that are blinking. Uh, so sometimes what will happen is the TV will go back to its factory settings and you will have to reset the TV from the, from the start. So you will have several steps that you will have to follow. And then you will be greeted by this home screen. So just to check if everything works, I'm just putting a video on YouTube. just fine no more red blinking lights and your tv is as good as new